We have breaking news in the Spider-Man and Star Wars drama. Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! It's -a me, Dario! Woohoo! All right, I just want to clarify that you did hear that correctly. I did not mis misspeak. It wasn't Spider-Man and Marvel and Sony. No, it's Spider-Man and also separate Star Wars news. There's a lot of drama around, right? I don't know why people like doing drama. But uh, this is a story that has been developing. It's a big one, and uh, I need to talk about it. And they're also kind of mixed up. So I'm going to give you the news, and then I'm going to go into kind of speculation territory. All right? So f bear with me. For starters, let me just give you a quick reminder that you can find the podcast in the iHeartRadio app. You can find it uh, typing in the show present Super Dire World, or you can find it on SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube. In YouTube, you can also find me on video. I'm also I'm doing videos now every day for every single podcast, unless for some reason I really have to get out of here quickly. But so far, I think it's going good. Uh, I think I'm optimizing <laughs> my response time. Uh, the first time I stayed here all fucking day doing it, uh, waiting for it to export. Now, not so much. And I'm going to keep these short. You know, I feel it's like more interesting that day, that way. Also, next week, I will be doing my very first podcast in Spanish. That one will be a pretty, a little bit longer. It'll be an, an hour. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to do video yet. I probably will. Might as well, you know, keep, keep the, the thing. What is it? The ball rolling. I'm, I mean, I'm already, I'm already in it, right? So, um, that also you can check out my latest review for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the, the beta, second week beta, uh, up at ReviewNation.net. It's a lot of stuff. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm a busy guy. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, a few weeks ago, I think maybe even a month, this is the big story that happened, right? A few, like a month ago, let's say a month ago, uh, big news came down that Sony, who owns the rights, who owns the rights for Spider-Man right now to make movies for Spider-Man, uh, was breaking up with Marvel, with Disney. Well, because Marvel is owned by Disney. So uh, they said that Spider-Man will no, no longer be a part of the MCU because they couldn't reach a deal and blah, blah. And there was this big fight between apparently the president of Marvel, Kevin Feige, who says that, well, we've, produ we've been producing the films. We put all this money into it. And so now it's time for you to pay, pay your fair share. And so being like, fuck you, we own the character. You're the one, you're the one who wants us. Uh, we don't want you. We were doing fine. We're already making tons of money. Sure, we're making more money now, but we could always go back. Doesn't really matter. You need us more than we knew, more than we need you. And uh, my assessment there is they were correct. Uh, Sony um, has the upper hand here because they own the rights to Spider-Man and Marvel made the big, big mistake of setting up Spider-Man to be the successor to Iron Man. So he was going to be the guy. They lost the two big, the, the two big uh, characters they had for phase for the first saga of the MCU, which was Iron Man and Captain America. They're donezo. They're gone. Their stories are done. And uh, they're out of there. So they, they started making Spider-Man the main guy. Well, guess what? You put Sony in a stronger negotiating position. And now, well, I, I told everybody, uh, you know what? A deal is going to get made. They have to. Marvel is in such a bad position right now. They're in such a bad position. Losing Spider-Man. Spider-Man is already the crown jewel of the Marvel Universe. He's probably the most likable character. You can mix him with anybody and make them more likable, make them more interesting. He is the best character they have. Probably the most popular one. Yeah, probably the most popular, probably the best one. Not my not my favorite, but I, I can acknowledge that he's the best. So, or, or at least the best they have in marketing-wise, marketing, uh, marketing -wise, advertising, all that stuff. Spider-Man is extremely, extremely popular. So, uh, I said that... <laughs> After this this thing got done, I said that eventually Disney was trying to bully their way into getting more money. They were trying to get more money, more squeeze more blood out of the stone. And a part of me thinks it's fair. I mean, if they're putting in the work, then they should reap the rewards, right? I think I was coming a little hot. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better. Now, I'll fix it again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that little uh, technical difficulties. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so Sony had the upper hand and... Uh, Marvel and it seemed like Marvel and Disney were trying to bully them and I said no it all that Sony has to do is just be like you know what I'll fuck you I'm, I'll do my own thing the the spider-verse is set up already and for us to continue continue do movies in the spider-verse will make way more sense it's a uh, 
it, it makes way more sense for Spider-Man to just ignore that everybody else is there and just keep doing his own thing than for the MCU to ignore Spider-Man. Spider-Man was such a key component in the MCU, and Marvel made him such a key component. That's why Sony was just sitting back and, you know what? You're going to come back. You're going to come back. You're going to be coming or knocking because you need us more than we need you. And so uh, there are also other, other things started happening because of this. I spoke about this earlier the week that Marvel was losing, there's a rumor that Marvel was losing faith on Captain Marvel because they made her such an unlikable character and they were planning on using Spider-Man to make that character more likable. So there's like and it it goes into my theory that Spider-Man can make other characters more interesting. So what happened now today? A breaking news is that Spider-Man will return to the MCU at least for one more movie. They made a deal for one more movie. Now, the it will be produced again by Kevin Feige. It would be produced by Marvel and all that stuff. Now, it hasn't been specified how much uh, exactly who blinked. It doesn't say who blinked. But if I have to guess, and I will, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speculate here. I'm going to say that Marvel and Disney gave up the house. And I mean, folded completely. They, they blinked. And uh, not only blinked, they, they, they took their eyes out. They just pulled them out because they are the ones that had the most to lose. So, also, I think, and I pro- I think this is a mistake. Now, again, this is all speculation. I have no idea what the deal was. It still hasn't been released yet, at, at least at the point where I'm making this video. I think uh, Marvel and Disney are making a deal for one more movie, and that movie will help them get Spider-Man out of the MCU. It'll be like his exit from the MCU in a way that makes sense, and that he can pass the baton to somebody else. Because right now, it's in fucking disarray. So... It, un, unless it's a multi-film deal, it might have been a little bit more consensual. But right now, if they just need Spider-Man for one more movie to get him out of the MCU, then they're going to have to give up the fucking house for it. Because <laughs> Sony holds all the cards, and if it's, this is their last time making a deal with Disney, then they're going to they want to they're going to want to cash in. So they have, and also they have the opportunity to do it, and they have the again the stronger negotiating position. So I think. Again, if it's one more movie, Disney gave up the house. If it's a multi-film deal, then uh, then things are going to be a little bit different. It might be a little bit fairer. Maybe Sony gave up a little, but in the grand scheme of things, it, they're not going to put in all the money. They're not going to put everything. So if it's a one movie deal, Disney gave, gave, <laughs> gave up everything. If it's a multi-film deal, then maybe it, it was slightly fairer. But that, that's the way I think it, it'll land right now. But... Here's uh, another little bit of interesting news that it's also connected. It's just been announced that Kevin Feige, again, the president of Marvel, president of Marvel who did all the issues with Spider-Man and all that crap, uh, it's just been announced that he will be developing a Star Wars film. Now, it's not really clear if it's a trilogy or something, but it's he will be developing a Star Wars film. Now, this is interesting in many ways. First off, not not really surprising because Kevin Feige has mentioned his love for Star Wars. He's a big geek. He loves Star Wars. It makes sense. But to me, it, it's very telling about what Disney thinks of Star Wars's state right now. It has been a gigantic fail for them so far. Like the the Star Wars universe sucks right now. It's it's really really bad, and they just. They invested so much money in it. They created freaking Star Wars and they did a whole bunch of stuff for specifically for Star Wars because they thought that was going to be the biggest thing ever. And it just keeps failing and failing. At, I, honestly, I think it was The Last Jedi that did it, but then Solo didn't help. However, I mean, the, let's talk about the 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 latest trilogy, right? The it, which is going to close. It's going to close this December, but this latest trilogy. It started off the Force Awakens. I ha- the more I think about it, the more issues I have with it. But it's okay. I didn't really judge. It's well made. It's well made. But the story, it didn't take any risks. It wasn't really that original. But and uh, it kind of destroyed all the old characters, right? It made all your favorite characters into losers, which sucked. The next one just didn't really make any fucking sense, and it was horrible. And it's one of the worst things. That, and it would be the worst thing with Star Wars in it if it wasn't for the fact that Solo, a Star Wars story, came out afterwards. So the universe is in fucking disarray. And uh, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, maybe it's like Star Wars fatigue. 
But Marvel comes out with a new movie every few months, and they still make a billion dollars, and most people still love them. I have issues with a lot of them, but they, they're they popular, and most people agree that they're good. There's there's not this red-hot hate, like there's a red-hot hate for, for the new Star Wars movies. So, again, pure speculation. Kevin Feige, who ran, who's running the MCU still, and made it the most popular franchise in the world, at least the most popular film franchise in the world, He's being brought in to make a Star Wars movie. That tells you how, how Disney feels the state of Star Wars in right is in right now. And it's not good. It's not good at all. It, it tells you that they think that it needs to, you know, to, to they need to add a little bit of spice into it. Because right now, here's what they have on the docket. All right, this is this is what they have in the docket as of right now. The TV show seems fine. The Mandalorian seems fine. The Obi-Wan show seems good. The video game world seems fine. I think they should do um, an, uh, maybe another Battlefront. Well, actually, honestly, I would love a, Re- a Republic Commando. A Republic Commando would be awesome. The the freaking, the the literature world is fine. They're doing great. All with Zahn and all that stuff, they're doing great. But in the movies, it, they're bleeding money. And also, they just opened the new parks and attendance is actually down. They opened two, new, two lands and, and attendance to Disney is down. It's mind-boggling. Well, it's not mind-boggling, but okay. So here's the state of the film for films for Star Wars. There's going to be a trilogy that's being made by the creators of Game of Thrones, D&D, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. Everybody fucking hated the ending of Game of Thrones. Everybody hated the last fucking season of Game of Thrones. So right now, all the, you know, the little hopes and everything and the excitement that came from that is gone. It's like, fuck those two guys. They fucking ruined Game of Thrones. I don't want them to fucking ruin Star Wars 2. So that's one. The other trilogy that's being made is by Ryan Johnson, who directed a little film called The Last Jedi, which everybody fucking hated. And so everybody's like, oh, fuck that guy. I don't want to see his fucking trilogy. He already fucking ruined for, for, ruined his first shot. Fuck that guy. He's ruining Star Wars. So the only two trilogies that they have on the horizon, nobody wants to see <laughs> or nobody cares about because it's made by three dudes who, who fucking fucked up horribly, right? And I mean, epically fucked up. So they're... They're so desperate at this point. They're like, you know what? We need to get this guy who's made a successful, well, again, not a successful, uh, the most successful franchise, movie franchise in the world. And we need to bring him in and we need to see if he can do something. So this is, seems like a desperation, desperation act from Disney. Two desperation acts. One, they're probably going to give up the house for Spider-Man, which is fair. And, uh, they have the money for it, and yes, it is desperate, but they needed it. They put themselves in a very, very weak negotiating position. You had to do it, right? You you put yourself there. You now you reap what you sow. So you're screwed there. The other one for Star Wars, yeesh. Ugh, it's hard. Especially because from what we know from Ryan Johnson, he doesn't play well with others. He literally threw out every single note that... Uh, that J.J. Abrams had for the second movie, and he's like, I'm going to do my own thing. So he grabbed every single thing that that J.J. Uh, that Abrams was, was planning on doing, ripped it up, and was like, fuck you, I'm going to do my own thing. That's probably why the movie doesn't make any fucking sense. What we know from, from D&D, they can follow directions and stuff like that, but again, they're, they gave them creative control, so they're kind of fucked. So even if Kevin Feige does something fantastic, phenomenal, the greatest thing ever, it doesn't mean that it's going to mesh well with the other two. So you could be very fucked very quickly. Again, the the best thing they could do right now is focus on the fucking TV shows and make sure that the Kevin Feige movie links up with that. Because I think the TV shows will be good. At least they look very promising. They look very promising and the Obi-Wan one sounds promising just because it's probably the most beloved character from the original. But Well, not from the original, from, from the prequel trilogies. Uh, great actor, very likable, interesting story, and there's a lot of potential there. So, state of Star Wars right now, fucking chaos. May, they're they're desperately trying to see if they can do something. And now I don't know if fucking Kevin Feige how how thin they're gonna spread the guy, but um, he has failed before, right? He he's not perfect, and uh, uh, he, let's just say difficult task task ahead of him ahead of him. And here comes another interesting bit. So. The, Kevin Feige kind of hinted that he already had a big star in mind from the MCU to bring him over to do the Star Wars movies. So he already had a big star in mind, and he told him, that, oh, I got a big role for you. He hasn't really confirmed whether or not it who is going to be or if they actually accept it or something. 
So, speculation time. There's three people that people are 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 suggesting it might be. Chris Evans, Michael B. Jordan, and Brie Larson. Now, basically, it's Captain America, Kilgore, that's the villain from Black Panther, and uh, Captain Marvel. So, Chris Evans, not the biggest fan. I did not like him as Captain America. I think he made a very weak Captain America and a very soft Captain America. So, he was serviceable to bad. Honestly, uh, what can I say? He never really inspired me. The uh, he just lacked heart. He lacked heart and toughness. So he was really soft. He was really soft, Captain America, and that's that's not Captain America at all. Dude's hard to steal, and he freaking like he was frozen to death and he survived. But, well, not frozen to death, but yeah, dude did not feel a patriotic enough and b uh like rough around the edges enough. And this is a dude from the from the fucking forties. He fought Nazis. Like he. He should have been way. He should have been closer to Clint Eastwood than to Chris Evans, right? If that makes any sense. If you if you saw Gran Torino, Captain America is closer to that guy. Like, get off my lawn, that guy. Anyway, so don't like don't like that. I don't like Chris Evans. Uh, the idea of him in the MCU. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. I don't like him as an actor. Uh the only movie where, that I've seen of his that I actually am like, oh, okay, that's fine. It was Creed. But I liked it more because of Stallone than really for him. Stallone had, had an amazing performance in the first Creed. And the girlfriend, her story was super interesting. It They could have made a whole movie just from that chick. Her story was so, so interesting. Him, he was kind of whatever. Uh, I don't like the guy. I don't think he's a good actor. I really hated Black Panther. The movie was really bad. Even though he was okay. I'll give it to you. He was okay, but he was just meh. I did not. I just... I don't like the guy, all right? I don't think he's good. And Brie Larson, who I already ripped on <laughs> the last, uh, uh, earlier this week, who was terrible, very unlikable, very stupid. Now, out of all those three, only one has hint, really hinted hard that she, that she wants to be a part of the, of the new Star Wars movie, and it's Brie Larson. So she actually put out like a tweet. Let me see if I can find the tweet where she specifically said, she, she, she has a picture of her dressed as a Jedi. She's wielding a lightsaber. She's le- leaning on C-3PO. And the caption says, Did someone say Star Wars? So, she's a big Star Wars girl, right? So far. Here's the thing. And again, this is where speculation comes in. Brie Larson is in a multi-film contract with Marvel. So, the only way that I can see... Her being a part, because supposedly she's going to be busy. Five movies, is it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Especially in the MCU, they take up a lot of time. So, the only way that I could see this, and again, there's rumors of Disney losing faith in Captain Marvel. So, it could be possible that Captain Marvel gets scrapped from a few movies, and those movies or well, the contract at least for one of those movies gets transferred into Star Wars that way they don't have to pay her anymore they're just transferring for her instead of okay instead of being Captain Marvel now you're going to be in the Star Wars movie and maybe that's a way that Disney can save themselves from from losing money with Captain Marvel because I think they foresee they will be losing money with Captain Marvel in the future however this brings over a few problems that's that's one of the theories that that theory has a big problem the president of Marvel is Kevin Feige. If Kevin Feige is losing faith in Captain Marvel, ergo Brie Larson, why would he bring her into her new Star Wars film? Right? Why? Why? The only thing that I can think of is maybe making her the villain because people don't like her anyway. And she's a decent actress. Like, she can act. It's just that people don't like her. So instead of making her the hero, you make her the villain. And uh, maybe that could work out. I think. That's the only really the only way. But the point is, from those, from this rumor, either of those three that they pick for the new Star Wars is a bad fucking start, right? Bad start, no good, no bueno. Star Wars is in fucking chaos. The MCU made a move. It gave up a lot. It's got again. I think it gave up a lot. I don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure they gave up a lot to get Spider-Man. They had to, and so the big winner today is Sony. Uh, I'm guessing. The fans, maybe. It all depends. I don't know. I'm, I'm really interested to see. This is going to be an interesting weekend if more information drops. So right now, I'm, all, I'm only speculating. But uh, as always, I think I'm right. So 
anyway that's it for today uh any comments questions suggestions you can always find me at dar the show on instagram hope you have a great weekend and i'll see you again on monday <laughs>